<clears throat> What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video. Today is Real Talk Tuesday and in today's video I want to talk about something very important that all of you must know especially young women, middle-aged women, women everywhere. talk Tuesday I like to talk about what society's issues are in today's time and what society's issues have always been and one thing that has always been a problem within the black community and within society is gun violence I want to tell you about the first murder of the year in DC I want to tell you about this murder because you know it's very relatable to a lot of women including myself who are you know within the 20 to 25 age mark and some of us really do need to be woke up you know now with me saying that let me just first say that I hope everybody watching is well I hope that you are in good health and in good spirits at this moment in time. I'm, I'm praying for you if, if you're going through hard times. I feel for you and I'm here for you. So the first murder of the year in D.C. was a 22 year old woman and not a lot of details have come out about the situation surrounding this event but I wanted to talk about this because this murder is an example of this murder is an example of there being a lack of respect for women in DC now I've always felt like this I've always felt like there was a lack of respect from you know young men when I was growing up and from my own father from older men you know it, it was just a lack of respect for me that I didn't appreciate and from me not appreciating it I do believe I have built certain levels of resentment towards young men and older men as well but moreover my experience and my perspective makes that a fact for me you know I don't know if it's like that where like say in Chicago or Atlanta or all of these different places I don't know if it's like that New York I don't know if it's like that where a lot of people from a lot of different cities and states wouldn't expect for women to be a target but I wholeheartedly understand it to be true. I think that women in DC are very much so more driven than men in today's time and that makes us a target. It makes us a target of who we lay with, you know, what that nigga is into or him actually taking your life. So it's a lot of different scenarios that could have been a factor in this situation in this 22 year old woman losing her life or there just being a um a hatred for women in general a lot of men in dc even young men categorize women in dc as the same when not a lot of us are the same that's why we don't get along with each other that's why a lot of problems get caused between us as females because we not the same and would it not be fair for us to say the same about y'all but that makes us targets listen DC women are very outspoken and they're going to tell you, not all of them, you know what I mean? Some of them are passive aggressive and things like that, but there are a lot of women in D.C. that will tell you off. And sometimes it's, it's too much 
to the point where it is an attack on you verbally and not a lot of men can deal with that to the point where they want to blow your face off they want to shoot to kill you so there could have been a lot of different things that that happened within this young woman's life a lot of times like I told y'all young men are disrespectful towards women in DC right well that is a lot of women's experience so they think to go at a older man right that's what they think they think okay either I'm gonna go gay or I'm going to go get an older man and that shit turn out the same exact way and he end up murking you cause he too controlling and you still want a certain amount of freedom that he's not gonna let happen under his control and it's set up for you to fail it's set up for you to die because you walk into it with nothing and he has certain things like finances to be able to take care of you you got somewhere to lay your head but you bloody bruised up now is it even worth it you in a grave now was it even worth it that he could afford to buy you Birkins and shit was it important was it a necessity you gotta be careful in these relationships and already if you try and fuck with an older man he's going to think that you're not as smart because of your age don't go into no situation like that so we gotta be careful and also who we associate ourselves with you know our friends or our it could be anybody but mainly if it's a relationship and it's a friend you know if you notice some toxic shit is happening within them and with them around them and that shit is just circulating it, it's gonna come to you you know it's gonna come to you we too young to be in a morgue that shit is for people of old age who die of natural causes that's not for us so we gotta really protect ourselves not only protect our energy but protect our lives protect our souls protect the shell that's keeping us alive because there's too many people out here and they want a person to feel just as bad as they do I'm not gonna give nobody that satisfaction I'm not somebody actually told me one time they was like oh it's 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 girls getting killed it's whoop de woo and it was basically because of how my content is right so they was like why do you think that young girls is getting killed why young girls is getting killed is not from what I'm doing trust and believe it's not from what I'm doing. It's a lack of what they not doing. Or it's a heightened numbers on what they is doing and it's negative. I'm doing something productive. We are not the same. I'm not talking about nobody that lost their life in a negative way neither. But I'm just saying. In your 20s, it's time for you to really figure out what you want to do with your life. All of that shit running the streets and doing the same shit we was doing since we was fucking six, seven, eight. Ain't you tired of that shit? Ain't you tired of the status quo? Ain't you tired of just running around the same streets? I am. I'm ready for some bigger and better shit. I deserve that. I don't want to see addicts every time I wake up. I don't want to see or hear domestic violence every other night. I don't. I want better. So I'm going to make sure that that's possible for me and mine. That's all I got. All we got is ourselves. It's too many people that's out here for themselves and they're willing to kill somebody for themselves. It's too many people out here like that. And if you are raising a child, if you are raising a little girl to become the best woman she can be and have a fighting chance, you got to really tell them. I am a superhero. Yes, you're a superhero. 
in closing I just want to say if you have children or you have a child you got to be there for them our children are the future yeah, my baby my, Joe. Yeah, Meaty. yes, baby Joe and Meaty Meat. That is her cousins that she loves very much. Yes, Let's, and they uh, always play with me. Yes, okay. So, um, they are the future, so we got to move accordingly. You know, we got to be safe, and we got we to gotta protect our little kids. It's your girl, B. Octavia, and your girl, B. Simone, and we will see you guys in our next video. Peace. Peace out. You don't got to touch this, okay? Peace out.